Hello. In today's video, I will take you through a step-by-step -step process for running a simulation in parallel in OpenFoam. To make this video as clear as possible, I am assuming you have a predefined OpenFoam case. If you don't, consider watching another one of my videos first. There are several ways to decompose a problem. In this video, I'm just going to show you the simple method. The steps for the other methods are similar enough that with some reading, you should be able to adapt the steps I present here. I will also consider making videos on these steps in the future. Now that I have described the basic premise of this video, we can talk about some of the information you must consider before decomposing the problem. The first thing to consider is how many physical cores does your CPU have. For instance, I am using a fairly standard desktop with an AMD 3600 series CPU. The CPU has 6 cores and 12 threads. Because OpenFoam only considers physical cores, I can decompose the domain into 6 parts, not 12. The other thing to consider is your domain geometry. Let's say you have a mesh that is nearly two-dimensional, it makes sense to divide your mesh along the thicker directions. Once you have everything specified and an idea of how you want to divide your mesh, you can begin by navigating to the appropriate directory. In your system folder, you will have a decomposed par file. Open it. Here you can see that I have specified six domains, as we discussed earlier. I'm using the simple method. When using the simple method, you simply specify the number of divisions in each direction. I have done three in the X, two in the Y, and one in the Z. Okay, we can now exit out of the decomposed par file and go back to our bash. The first command you will use is decompose par. As you can see, we now have additional files. These files contain the subdivided domain. Each domain contains a zero and a constants folder. We now use the following command. This command is specifying that I am running a sonic foam case on six cores in parallel. Now you just run the command. Observe how fast it is running compared to the simple serial case. Once the simulation terminates, we must recombine the data from each core to create a single solution file. To do this, run the reconstruct par command. The latest time part specifies that I just want to save the last calculated time step. Once completed, you will see the saved time step in your main folder. Then you can create a foam file and post process as you normally would. And that is it. Those are the basic steps in running a simple parallel simulation in OpenFoam. You can find all of the files I used in this video in my GitHub account linked in the description down below. As always, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more content. Goodbye.